Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're talking about Dutch oven covers. All right, if you guys are following, you know we have these set of uh, Bass Pro. We use them all the time. But lately, I was contacted by some folks at Big Cottonwood, and they say they've approved the Dutch oven cover. So y'all stay tuned. So first, let's take a look at the uh, set I already have. Here's the Bass Pro Shops. They're made by Lodge. They have very uh, sturdy zippers. I've never had any trouble with the zippers on them. If you watch any of our packing videos, you know that we can uh, we can put uh, the oven and a couple skillets in there. You know, this is made for the 10, 10 inch here, and then I've also room enough to, you know, to put a skillet on top. Uh, let's grab a let's grab a Wagner off the wall. You know, we could put a still put a a Wagner just like that on the top and there's still plenty of room to zip it up. You just have to leave the handle sticking out. But I just zip it right close to the handle and that keeps your pans nice and clean and uh, easy to carry. Okay. But the other you know, couple drawbacks to these here is they don't, uh, you know, I've had comments before people saying, you know, hey, these feet are going to rub through the bottom. You know, your feet are pretty sharp and there's a little padding in the bottom of these. They do have like a, it's almost like a woven nylon uh, interior interior uh, surface on the bottom there. And there's a little bit of pad, maybe a quarter of an inch of padding in there. And, you know, obviously these, like just about anything like this, that's made in China. Overall, I've been okay. pretty happy with these and I hadn't had any issue with them at all. I've had them for several years. But uh, recently, um, Folks over at Big Cottonwood uh, see me use these, I guess, and they um, so they they uh, they come up with a better Dutch oven cover. So we're gonna take a look at that next. Okay, so I sent this to me from over at Amazon, and um, let's go ahead and unbox it here. I haven't had it out yet, so you guys are seeing it the first time, as well as me. Uh, it's still in the sack here. Keep holding them together. Got a nice logo on the top. And I can already tell you right now, there's much more padding in that than there are in the lodge bags. And that's uh, that's their logo right there. Big cottonwood covers. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick, uh, closer look at it. The lodge. This is a Bass Pro Shop lodge. There, the zippers. This very heavy duty, and. Uh, there's a type of zipper that's called XYZ or something like that. Uh, these seem to have uh, very similar zippers. Uh, these do have a little like uh, gripper pull tabs on the ends of the tabs there. I guess because the tabs are a little smaller. A little smaller on that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. Right, it's coming a little squished down in the bag, and I guess both the zippers are in one direction, so... A nice red trim around uh, everything inside there, and here's the biggest difference I noticed already. This has got padding in the top, uh, probably thicker than what's in the bottom of the, the lodge. Padding in the sides, and here's what they say their big difference is. That's a hard bottom, a hard plastic bottom, okay, with padding, also padded on the outside. It keeps your, your stuff from getting dinged up if you're throwing it around camping. But, you know, I was looking at this, uh, it's got the same kind of, a, kind of a woven nylon for the interior that helps to keep the moisture off your oven, you know, if you're out camping. Um, it's a great thing to have a bag like this in case, you know, your stuff gets rained on. Because I was concerned about taking a new Overmont uh, Dutch oven and putting it in a Dutch oven cover. And I'm going to show you why. Look how pointed those feet are. Okay, They're very small. Now I was afraid that was going to really go right through the bottom of a regular Dutch oven cover. And you know, we did a review on this pot a while back. We didn't recommend it to you guys. I had it stored up here for a little bit. And you can see that it's already starting to form, even though we did a really good seasoning on it, it's already starting to form a little bit of rust. So we definitely got to get this, this bad boy back on some fire with some more oil, you know. 
and that's mainly due to just impurities in the cast iron. They use a lot of recycled stuff over there in China. Most of the stuff that ends up from the United States is going to end up in China and turn into so something like this. So last thing we're going to do is see how our uh, Overmont, this is a standard 12 inch Dutch oven fits in there. Fits in there, uh, plenty of room, plenty of room. I bet you, you could. Pr there's probably enough room, you could probably squeeze a 14 in there. Not sure. Don't have a 14 to try it with. Let's try the zippers. The zippers are nice and smooth. These uh, handles are kind of uh, gathered together at the top to make it uh, a little easier to carry. And I'm really digging it. And Big Cottonwood said they improved the Dutch oven bag. I'm going to agree with them. So overall impression with the new big cottonwood Dutch oven cover seems to be very well made. I like the fact that it's completely padded on all sides, not just on the bottom, and it has that hard plastic cover uh, on the bottom of it so the, the legs of your Dutch oven don't wear through your bag. And you know that's going to be something, especially if you know if you if you use it a lot camping, you know you, it's going to be in a rough environment. And I think that's a huge improvement, especially over anything else I've seen on the market. So you're probably asking, hey, I bet all those new features come with a premium price. I went and checked this out on Amazon myself, read all the reviews that were there. Uh, the, most of the, all the reviews I read were positive. And guess what? It's about half the price of the Lodge Dutch oven bag. So why don't y'all give this one a try? I'm going to throw it right up on our Amazon store. If you had not checked out our Amazon store yet, I'm going to leave you a link in the very first comment and the description box below. Hey, and I'm even going to give you a shortcut to this product right there on Amazon. And remember, if you don't see what you want on our page, just use that search bar at the top to buy anything on Amazon. Every purchase helps us to do what we do here at the Backwoods Gourmet. So thanks for watching.